How's it going everybody? It's a great storm here. Um, I'm doing a video. Um, a lot of people are having questions regarding how to migrate your uh, worlds from one server to another. Um, in this case, I will show you guys how to do that. Um, if you follow the Linux GMS installation guide, you'll probably do the same thing as I did, which is do a VH server uh, user on the home directory. If you go to your home directory VHU server or the user that you ran this um, Valheim server on, you have to go to your home directory. You want to look for a hidden file called config. In that config, just go down the line, Unity 3D, Iron Gate, uh, Valheim, you'll find a folder called Worlds. In this folder called Worlds, you'll see the name of your current world. They won't be a DB for now. Um, the way it works is pretty much on your uh, uh, LGMS configurations. Here, I'll show you guys real quick. It's better if I show you guys. Um, the game world equals. That is the name of your server. So if you have a migration from, let's say, a server you bought from some host and then you're trying to move it to an actual bigger box, you're going to want to copy over the, the .db and the .fwl. That is your game server information um, you want to name the game world to whatever the name of that file is in this case i'm currently using the storm world if you to go to that instance you just go to the ip address and go ahead and do a two four five seven and you'll find it um that's pretty much how it, that's pretty much it guys um you just copy your file to that directory um you need to make sure uh, you do a, a restart, it doesn't automatically pick it up. So once you change your configuration, say, hey, I want to use um, VH server. You want to make sure you do a, um, a restart. But once you do the restart, it will restart it using the old world or the world you transferred over. I forgot about one thing, guys. Um, I wanted to add this piece into part of the video. Um, I already talked about the worlds. I want also to also talk about the configurations. A lot of you guys also have some questions on how to control your server. Um, there is a file located on um, the dot config unity iron gate Valheim. In that world or in that folder, you'll find something called admin it, admin list. You want to make sure you get your Steam ID um, and put it inside this admin list, one per line, pretty much. For anybody that is your friends or whatever, um, this does require a server restart. So you do gotta keep in mind if you want to put your admin and your name on there, do a server restart. Uh, once you do that, you can do while you're in game as your own login. You can you can type in, you can click F5. Um, that'll bring up the console where you can do a kick, you can do bans, you can do all the commands necessary to administer your game server for Valheim. That's going to be the end of my video guys. Um, the server has restarted and it's now taking the new world or in this case the world I migrated from my other instance to this one. So in that case, um, thank you. Please follow, subscribe, like my videos. Um, I'll be doing some more later. I'm currently working on the ARC server. I'll be doing that soon. So hopefully you guys can catch that video and it'll help you out on setting up your ARC server as well.